In this video, I'll be packaging the tool as a Houdini digital asset. So I'm going to select these three nodes and put them into a subnet. And then I'm going to right click on the subnet and click create digital asset. I'm going to call this digital asset height field color layers. We can put this into a submenu. I'm going to type Pegasus forward slash terrain. So when I create this digital asset, it will appear under a Pegasus submenu and then under a menu called terrain. So if you create lots of different Pegasus digital assets, it'll all be nice and organized. I'm going to set the author to Pegasus and I'm then going to click create. So now if I right click, you can see I have a Pegasus menu and there are a submenu called terrain and our height field color layer. And the type properties window is opened up so I can begin to expose the parameters that I want the user to be able to adjust. So let's come inside the subnet. And I'm going to select the height field wrangle, scroll down and hit clear. So that's cleared out any existing parameters. And I'm going to drag this layers label and drop it onto the root. And you can see that's copied into here the multi-param block as well as all of its subparameters. I want to change the labels to make them a bit more um, user friendly to read. So I'm going to just capitalize this layers for the folder. On the layer enable, I'm actually going to uncheck label and check horizontally join to next parameter. On the layer name, I'm going to rename the label to name, well, actually, I'm going to rename it, sorry, to layer, and then space hashtag, hit return to enter that, and then come to layer color, and also do the same here. So color, hashtag, and hit return. And now hit apply. And if I come back up to look at my digital asset and hit the plus, we now have this enable icon to the left. And our option to specify the layer and a color. Let's actually set these to be disabled if this checkbox is enabled or disabled. So I could do that by coming to the disable when field on my layer parameter. I'm going to enter a curly bracket followed by the name of this layer enable. So I'm going to type layer enable underscore hashtag equal to by double equals zero and then end with a curly bracket. And I can copy that and paste that into the table when for the color as well. Now if I apply and I check and uncheck this tick box, we can see those parameters get enabled or disabled. That makes it super clear whether or not they're enabled. Finally, I also want this checkbox to be enabled by default. So I can do that by coming to the toggle parameter over to the channels tab and entering to the default channel A1 and hit apply. So now when I hit plus, this checkbox will be enabled by default. And with that done, I can hit accept. And I can start to pick some colors. So we've got lowlands, add six layers. So we've got base, lowlands, sand, cliffs, rocks, debris, one more, riverbed. So I'm going to very quickly add in some colors. So we've now created a flexible tool for starting to create a color map for our height map. Now in the next video, I want to just go through some tips for picking colors and also working with the color picker inside of Houdini.